So one question that we are expecting to get more than than any question is comparing the new arc frame to the duplex light. So arc, duplex light, and then the tactical frame. What are the advantages, disadvantages? Where does that come? What, where does one come into play more than the other? And f for me, my opinion with what we were able to do with the arc frame, and it did take a lot of screwing around with this arc frame, sending them back and forth to the manufacturer, is there is really, in my opinion, no reason to choose a duplex light or a tactical frame over the arc, and this is why. When we try to explain the tactical frame, we talk about you have the full frame sheet that adds some, I guess, structural integrity to it. It's going to be a little bit more durable or bomb proof. It doesn't have the cross section uh, like the duplex light does. But this is a heavier frame, significantly heavier than the duplex light and uh, very much so on the arc frame. But this has been a great frame for us, a great, uh, I, I mean, this is the closest thing to what the original duplex frame was, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So with this though, it's a little bit heavier. It doesn't have as much torsional flexibility, so you don't get as much movement in the frame. The other thing too, warranty wise with the duplex slide and the duplex tactical compared to the arc in five to 10 years, no matter what stitching is going to eventually wear out with this frame. And when the, the stitching wears out, whether that be at the top or wherever the case may be, we can't make it to where they last forever as much as we'd like. You have to send in the frame. We have to assess if it can be fixed or not. Uh, and then, you know, try to repair it or not, but it costs a lot of time, effort, things like that. Where with the comparing that duplex uh, tactical, which is our most durable frame to the arc with the arc, this frame again has been te battle tested and beaten the crap out of it. So frame is not going to break. You're just going to have these tab loops that are just like this one attached at the top of the frame. We just need to swap that tab loop out. If that ever wears out, there's no sewing involved, which is a huge bonus. So just as durable, more durable actually than the duplex uh, tactical, more comfortable, better, bre better breathability, easier to adjust, all of those things. So that's why I think, okay, probably aren't gonna want the tactical over the arc frame. Now you do have, this is skeletonized a little bit, but nothing like, the duplex light uh, that's skeletonized a little bit more, but you still have amazing airflow. So now comparing it to the duplex light, the duplex light is a couple ounces heavier uh, depending upon um, how you weigh the frame. And when I say that, if you attach all of the tab loops like this one at the top here, if you attach all 10 that come with the frame and you add that weight together, that will be two ounces less weight than the duplex light. So what I'm saying is with everything attached to the arc, it is still two ounces less than our lightest version of the duplex light. So you've got lighter weight. The duplex light actually broke uh, when we were doing uh, the test to failure process of this. The duplex light actually broke, I'm not going to throw exact numbers on it, but significantly easier than the arc frame did when we were testing to failure. So the arc frame is extremely durable and a lot more durable, believe it or not, than the, the even the duplex light. And we've beaten the hell out of these. You've got the ventilation portion. That's huge. You've actually, um, as far as comfort with lighter loads, you've got a lot more torsional movement with the arc frame. When I say a lot more, there's more torsional movement with the arc frame, meaning you got a little bit more freedom of movement with lighter weight. The adjustments are so much easier on the arc frame compared to the duplex light and the tactical. As I showed you in the other video, for adjustments on the shoulder straps, you just loosen that and then go up and down in these slots to where it fits your correct torso. Anybody that's ever adjusted one of these knows the strap goes down and around. You have to loosen that, take off the belt. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So you're looking at a time saver for, for us, as well as obviously anybody, uh, dealers or anything like that are going to be selling these. You're looking at literally an 80% reduction in time to assemble or adjust the arc in comparison to the duplex light. So a huge, huge bonus. Uh, as far as, uh, like I talked about before, warranty-wise with the duplex light or the tactical, 
after five to 10 years, things are going to wear out on any frame, uh, whether that be these tab loops where the load lifters adjust, things like that. You have to send that frame in. You do not have to do that with the arc. And then the, sh the shoulder strap material, or excuse me, the shoulder strap foam, the waist belt foam, and the lumbar pad foam has been upgraded from the duplex light and the duplex tactical. So you have a shoulder strap that will last longer. It does not compress nearly as easy. Uh, and they're also, in my opinion, anyway, more comfortable. And, you know, obviously that's up for debate. So as far as that goes, those are the big reasons or the differences between the duplex light and duplex tactical and the arc frame. We were able to combine everything we knew about all of the frames we'd ever come out with, take what we knew, and then go from there and make it as good or better than anything we've ever had. When comparing this frame to other frames on the market, what we were really wanting to do, and again, this is over time, people have always known us for heavy load hauling comfort. That was the big thing, but we had a little bit of a weight penalty uh, compared to other you know, manufacturers. With this, we are able to lighten the load, so we are able to drop some weight off of it, but actually increase load hauling comfort uh, with heavy weight, and again, with lightweight as well. And you're going to be able to have the pack even longer before you may ever need to swap out any of the shoulder straps, things like that. And the warranty, if anything ever does go wrong, is way, way simpler with the arc frame. So all around, I'm super excited about this. I, I don't know that this frame can be beat. It has done everything I've asked it to do from kicking it off mountainsides, throwing it off roofs and, and packing 150 pound loads out. And it, it's just done amazing. I'm super excited.